This project is sponsored by PowerPro. I'm building the bench with 10 by 2.5 inch exterior screws. The PowerPro star drive head with countersinking blades are perfect for this project. These are the tools you'll need for this project, a circular saw and a driver. As far as hand tools, this is a speed square, very handy tool. If you buy one of these, you'll have it forever. I've had this one for more than 30 years. A box of two and a half inch exterior Power Pro screws. These are the star drive screws, really great screws. And you don't need this, but definitely makes things easier. This is a quick grip clamp. That's kind of like having a third hand. We'll need two of these rectangles for each side of the bench. So let's get started by cutting four of what I'm calling the legs at 15 inches. I'll use the speed square as a straight edge and take a little off the end to clean up that side. Next I'll measure over 15 inches, make a mark, and use the speed square to square across. Now I'll line the blade up with that mark, use my speed square, and make the cut. Now I'll use the first cut as my pattern, make sure I'm flush at the edge, and mark for the next cut. Notice that I've got a piece of sacrificial material here. That way if I cut into it with the circular saw, that's okay. And it also supports the piece and keeps it from falling on the ground. I made some simple plans for this project that include a drawing, material list, and cut list. And you can find them over at my Facebook. You could download them or take a screenshot, whichever is easiest. And I'll have a link to my Facebook in the description below. I'm always using that first cut as my pattern. Now that I have the four legs cut, I'll move on to these pieces here. I'm calling those the cross braces, and I need four of them at 10 inches. This piece again is my pattern. I'll hold it at the edge and trace a line. And that's my next cut. This is going to go together like this, flush at the top, and I'll measure up two inches from the bottom. So first I'll measure up, and then use my speed square again, square across. And then I can use that line, make sure I'm flush at the ends. And that's where the cross brace will go. So I'm lining that up at the line. This is going to be flush at the top and I'll hold everything in place with this quick grip clamp. I've made sure that I'm right on the line and now I've got the two and a half inch screws. And I like to put the screw about three quarters of an inch from the edge. And then I'll put another one right here. Okay, so you can see how these are the bench legs. And now that they're made, the next step is to make the bench seat. For the bench seat, I'm using a two by eight. I'll cut it in half and then put it back together and that will create the seat. Instead of cutting it exactly in the middle at 48 inches, I'm gonna cut it at 46 and that'll allow me to just clean a little off the edge from each side. With that end cleaned up, I'll pull from that edge Make a mark at 46. Again, use the speed square, square cross, and that's the line I'll cut at. And now I'll use this board to measure the other one.
I'll put the best sides of the 2x8s facing down. So this is the bottom of the bench. And I'll place the 2x8s about a half of an inch apart so there's a gap in the center. And then I'll place the legs at the bottom of the bench. Set them in four inches from the edge and then center them on the bench and attach them with the two and a half inch long screws. Well, the bench already feels very sturdy, but since I have some wood left over, I'm gonna cut diagonal braces that will tie the leg to the bottom of the seat, and that'll make the bench rock solid. I'm using the speed square again, but this time I'll use it to cut a 45. Measuring 15 inches from the long point. Again, I'll make a mark and then use the speed square to trace the 45 and line up the blade with that 45 and make the cut. Now I'll use this one as my pattern. Here's a quick tip for starting and driving a screw in a board that's on an angle like this. So I want to drive the screw on a 90 degree angle. I don't want to go in like this. So the first thing I want to do is kind of get a height of where my screw should be because I don't want to go through the seat. Now when I start the screw, I'm going to start in at a 90 degree angle to the board. Once I'm in a little bit, I'm going to bend up. I'm not bending the screw, I'm bending the wood fibers. Now I'm at 90 degrees, kind of started a little bit more, and now I'm good to go. Okay, well that's a good solid bench that didn't take too long to make, and I think it would look good on any deck or in the garden. If you are going to put it in the garden, do yourself a favor and don't just put it in the dirt. Put a paver or a brick under each leg. And it's also a good idea to paint the end grain at the bottom of the leg and maybe even add a plastic dome. That will elevate the wood off the ground just a little bit and allow for some air circulation and keep the wood dry and from rotting and that will help your bench last longer. Don't forget you can find the plans on my Facebook along with some detailed photos of the bench. And if you're looking for more of a fine furniture build, check out the plans on my website. I'll have a link in the description below. I've got more than 20 professional plans on my site, all with video tutorials right here on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.